reason you don't want to and although Oprah says she wasn't paid a cent by Harris, the campaign did pay her company a million dollars to produce Oprah's star-studded town hall. Well, isn't that paying? And the Harris team reportedly spent six figures to build that set I told you about on that Call Her Daddy podcast, you know, which I got her hundreds of thousands of views, but I mean, I don't know that it was cost-effective. And then you got Eminem, uh, then you got Beyonce. So let's talk to somebody who lived it. OK, uh, and is speaking out now with her own concerns. Lindy Lee joining us now. Lindy, thank you very much for taking the opportunity. I'm a huge fan of yours. I've watched you for like a decade. So thank you so much for having me. Well, it is good to be here. And let's start uh, just with you first. All right, welcome, everybody, back to the channel. Before this gets into the heart of why she came on and expressing her views, uh, you know, I can't play this whole clip without interjecting because you get copyright infringement. But previously I did a video where I talked about Kamala Harris going through a billion dollars and end up being $20 million in a hole. She's going to explain why the one billion dollars, how it was spent in an inappropriate way. And the bottom line is how the campaign was not listening to the American people. Their ideas was not in line with what was going on in the real world that we as citizens live in. And if and basically her point is, if they don't start addressing the primary issues of the American people versus the social justice issues that they conjured up and made up, then they will continue to fail in these elections. But without further ado, I will let her continue to tell her side of the story since she was on the finance side of the, of the house. Second, with this question, what are you doing? talking about what happened in the campaign and absolutely putting a target on your head, let alone your back. Why would you do this? If we don't confront reality, if we don't address these very serious issues, we're going to keep losing. And I really like what you've said you know, earlier in the segment. Um, if we don't recognize that America is shifting rightward, we are going to keep losing. If we don't have a financial accountability and some sort of very serious accounting of how exactly we spent a billion dollars in two to three months. How are donors and even everyday Americans who gave their $10 and $25 ever going to trust the Democratic Party again? We need a serious postmortem to show that we're learning the lessons, that we are exposing everything that went wrong, and that we are going to do better in the future. We can't just throw everything under the rug and assume that daddy's going to fill the piggy bank again. What do you think of these allegations of what Oprah, I mean, either they paid the production company or they didn't. I've never heard of people getting paid for endorsements. Uh, paid I'm to stunned. perform, maybe, maybe, but usually they give it. But do you believe it? I. It's not a matter of believing. It's literally in the report. And she can deny it however much she wants to, but it says Harper Productions on the FEC report. I really don't know how you get around that. It's her company. And she may not have gotten paid personally as a person, but it paid her company. So I, I, I think this is a matter of semantics. It, she got paid. Um, and, and it's just, if my donors had known beforehand that the money would be dispersed this way, I do not think they would have given. You know, it's it's a sacred trust. These people, a lot of my donors have worked hard all their lives. And again, these are everyday Americans around the country. I didn't just deal with big donors. I also fundraised from grassroots donors who gave $25, as I mentioned. Uh, I did something called Geeks and Nerds for Harris. People are giving like 10 to $15. These are people, you know, some people are living paycheck to paycheck. So it's a sacred trust for them to give money to a campaign. It is our utmost responsibility to use that money in a responsible manner and to not treat it as OPM, which is other people's money. If we can't handle campaign money the right way, how can taxpayers, how can Americans possibly trust us that we would handle taxpayer money the right way? Did you think you were going to lose? This is a very hard question, um, very hard. So we were told 100% that we were gonna win up until I think 9 to 10 p.m. on election night, which is stunning. I had a DNC official telling me on the night of that we were going to win Ruby Red, Iowa. And I, I, I was just looking, I just was wondering if he thought I was stupid. He, he said it in earnest. I also found out that the guy's being pushed out, the same guy who said that to me. What 
person would think they the Democrats will win Iowa, who's never gone Democrat. A ruby red state. They had these people believing they was going to win all of the battleground states as well as Iowa. Are you serious? Boy, were they totally delusional in their thinking. But yeah, hey, that's the Harris campaign. They had them all. They had all these Democrats hook, line, and sinker into believing that somehow Harris was going to pull off this election because her ideas is what the American people wanted. And boy, were they in for a rude awakening on election day. I'm actually, I think an entire DNC leadership is going to change in the next couple of months. There's going to be, I mean, there's going to be hell to pay. There's, this is just, it's not, this is not a 2016 loss. This is a shellacking. This is not a um, mm. squeaker race. This is a resounding defeat. It, it pains me to say that. As you said, I put a target on my back. Actually, you'd be surprised that I have dozens of donors blowing up my phone telling me to stay the course. They may not have the guts to say it or the platform, but they want me to keep going because it's their money too. And we let the American people mm. down. And Lindy, I know that you're worried about staffers and people who need the money, unlike the celebrities uh, who haven't been paid yet. So here's what I can do. Um, whatever happens next, you have a platform here to discuss it, okay? Uh, whatever comes out about you or you believe that isn't true or whatever it is, you've got a platform here to discuss it. You just give me a call and you got it, okay? Oh my gosh, that's so kind. That's so kind. Thank you for saying that. I'm also not worried about me because I'm someone who's never even like smoked marijuana. I don't even drink alcohol. So I, I live my life in such a rigid manner. I'm a workhorse, you know, so I'm not afraid of what people could possibly say. It wouldn't be true. So I come at me, you know, everything that I've said every single hour, it seems like what I've been saying has been substantiated. Just in the past couple of hours, we saw that the Harris campaign gave Al Sharpton 500,000, uh, his company $500,000. And a few, uh, a, mo you know, a few moments later, he was endorsing her resoundingly. And this is not it, it good optics. It's journalistic malpractice. You know, perception is reality mm -hmm. in this industry. And you're... I can't so disagree with anything you're saying, um, except the no drinking and marijuana thing. But hey, you make your own choices. 